This week, as part of Sky's Ocean Rescue campaign, I've been challenged to do my weekly shop plastic free. So let's see how I get on. I've got my reusable bags. Let's go. You've got lots of lovely loose yeah, fruit and veg. Good. Yeah, what you do is you help yourself, you come up and then you, you just pick out what you want. Do you ever get customers coming back and saying, you know, that fruit was bruised? They won't buy it if it's bruised. Everything's no. got to look perfect. Yeah. So if I said to you, look, I'd love some of these cherry tomatoes, yeah. can I switch them to a paper bag? Yeah, well, we put them in the bags right. anyway. Oh, do you? So that's just for Because we, we want the punnets back. Oh, that's Yeah, brilliant. we want the punnets back, yeah. That's really good. So you recycle the We punnets recycle and... the punnets back, yeah. OK, so I've been to do my weekly shop at a local supermarket, trying not to buy any plastic. So I managed to get some squash in glass. Again, much more expensive than I would normally pay. Cereals were out of the question because all the cereals are in cardboard boxes, but inside there's a plastic bag. But this was quite good. A little bit of porridge in a paper thing, recyclable. I did manage to get some tea, which is in a cardboard box and doesn't have the usual plastic wrapper on it, which is brilliant. Why does it need a plastic wrapper on it? You know, it's perfectly safe in there. Okay, we've had a week of trying to use less plastic. How have we got on, Edith? Like you said, not easy. It's been awful because like, every time I went to the supermarket to try and buy lunch, everything was in plastic. And I've got some strawberries which are wrapped in plastic casing and bubble wrap and this plastic cover. Constance, was it the same for you? And when we had packed lunches, when me and Aggie both went to a basketball club, um, the sandwiches are in cling film. Plastic used on wrapping the sandwiches in cling film, um, wrapping chocolate bars and used whole crisps. Um, a way we think that maybe the staff could use to make this better is maybe put these in greaseproof paper or paper bags, which would reduce the amount of single-use plastic that we have to use in school lunches. OK, so we all found it pretty hard, didn't we? Do you think it's going to be easy in the future trying to stick to this, Gwen? No, it's, you don't realise how much you use plastic until you're told not to use it. And you don't realise how, how many things are made of plastic until you're aware. Edith, what about you? I could safely say I would not want to carry this on in the future. I probably wouldn't be allowed to eat at school because everything comes in plastic. So when we look at our box full of plastic, it's smaller this week. I think considering we're in a family of eight, I think we've done very well and I hope what we've been doing for the past week will have an effect on our lives and the way we act for the future.